Well, lawmakers are discussing a bill that would allow judges to consider how to handle some cases involving juveniles who are also victims of sex crimes. Paul Nelson joins us now live in the studio after talking to members of the Judiciary Committee and the sponsors of the bill. And Paul, what would AB 158 do? Well, and it's specifically for kids under 18 who are victims of sex trafficking or sexual assault. If one of them commits a crime against their abuser, pimp or trafficker, anything from assault to murder, the judge can consider that during sentencing, among other things. Lawmakers say sex trafficking and other sex crimes against minors are bigger problems in Nevada than most people know. That's why so many feel strongly about AB 158. We have a real problem with sex trafficking around this country. Uh, we have youths that are being exploited. Uh, so anything we can do to help, I think that's, that's probably important. This law only applies to minors who have clear and convincing evidence that they were victims of sex trafficking or sexual abuse within the previous year of committing a crime against their abuser. Judges can use this knowledge to determine how to handle the case or sentencing. Protecting our children and seeing them not necessarily just as defendants, um, but as the victims they really are, I think is an important issue that needs to be discussed. Lawmakers say this bill would not give people a free pass to commit crimes, and some say it treats children like children and as victims in traumatic circumstances instead of as criminals. That needs to be taken into consideration before they are charged or incarcerated for, in, in this instance with this bill, for as even as much as killing the abuser. Lawmakers say more victims of sex crimes are coming forward as awareness grows, and it's their job to understand what they're dealing with better, especially when it comes to the court system. My heart goes out to the people who are victimized by sex traffickers, sexual abusers. It's kind of a sad situation even in the 21st century, but it does happen and more often than we like. This bill does have bipartisan support, including co-sponsors from both parties. Lawmakers say they expect it to pass through the Judiciary Committee and the Assembly, then head over to the Senate. Covering the 2019 legislature live in the studio, Paul Nelson, 2 News.